have you been listening to a lot of different kind of music? Because you mentioned punk, rock and roll, maybe also hardcore even. No, I've not been listening to hardcore stuff. I've been listening to... Saying that though, I've been listening to like the new Creator album, which is brilliant, absolutely fucking phenomenal, I love it. It's another band that's gone back to their roots again, especially on that, on their new album. But there's um, not, not really as in metal as such. I'm, I'm very much an old school person when it comes to, there's no new bands out there really that make me want to go fucking up, this is brilliant. Do you feel that you've gone back to your roots again as, as well with this, re this record? Yeah, totally. That was one intention, to be honest. Was it your intention or was it a, a common yeah, intention? Yeah, it was kind of mine. It was kind of mine. I said, I want to go back to this. I want to put punk back in. I want you to do this. I mean, we used to do it back in the day, like on principle and like a lot of earlier albums. And it, it kind of got lost, you know, and it kind of got, and then it all got really processed and, mm -hmm. and stuff. And it, it kind of got, like, got forgotten about, you know. And so this time I, I really wanted, because we had the year's break, I really wanted to go back and say, right, come on, we've got to do this. Mm -hmm. It has to go down this road. We've got to start getting some credibility back. Do, do you feel, can you maybe describe the period that you came off of the last record, the tour maybe you had together with the, the release of the previous record? What kind of period is it after such a cycle is, is, is closed? So I don't understand what you mean. Yeah, the previous record from in 2010, you, you toured that record of course yeah. as well. When when such a cycle of a record and a tour is, 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 is closed down, what kind of feeling are you left then with? Is, do you see, if, as a new star, do you take a break from everything? No, from I take you? a break. I used to take a break from everything. So this is a good thing, the reason why we release albums like every two years, because that gives us like a two year gap, even though we're touring and still playing and stuff, mm -hmm. it gives us like a two year gap to, um, to like refresh on like inspiration and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, get like recharge the batteries. Because like, if you used to actually release an album, and then go straight back into writing another one and keep doing all that, each album's gonna sound exactly the same, you're not gonna get any, there's not gonna be any like external inspiration or any, or rejuvenation as such, as a player or as a songwriter or as whichever, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the reason why ours sound different, the reason why we managed to stay for so long in the industry as a band is because of like, we have that two year gap. Mm -hmm. And each, that's the reason why each album sounds different. What's an important activity for you besides music that you take in that uh, two year gap or in one year gap? <sighs> Active? I don't know. You were the sports guy? Have yeah, you spoken yeah, about totally. I did actually start, I was down in the gym like six days a week, um, but it's, I hurt my shoulder. I was like up to like really heavy weights, lifting, benching and stuff, but I've lost a lot of size because I had a shoulder injury, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so yeah, I was getting pretty big. <laughs> People were like, I'm sorry, oh, you're way too big. <laughs> but yeah, no, I haven't done it for about two, three months because I, like, I got a shoulder injury from lifting. So it's, it's all coming back. It's all healing now. So as soon as I get back home, I'm just straight back in the gym again. Yeah, is, is that, that fitness is, is an important aspect? I love it. I love it, especially when you've got a real dirty heavy weight and it's just like trying to, yeah, it's great. It's good that we have an anamorphic camera then, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, living in the States, you've lived there already for some time, but is it good to have maybe also because you live there maybe a little bit of distance from, from the other guys? Yeah, even though saying that though, we always talk on Skype mm -hmm. all the time. Never feels like you're far no, away. No, it doesn't, you know. You, there's a long gone of the days of where you've got like, you have to be in the same rehearsal room now. Now, especially, I mean, you know, I can understand if you're a band just starting off, but a band like us, we've been around for so long, you don't need it. I mean, it's when we played, we played a show recently in um, Cambridge in England and uh, the uh, festival in Germany, I forgot what it's called now. Wacken? That's it, yeah, yeah. Wacken. And um, we haven't played together for a year. And, this, and then, so what we did, we only had like two rehearsals and literally by the second rehearsal, it was like we'd never had a break. And, and, if, and if you're like that in a band, you know, it's, there's no need to be together all the time. As long as everybody practices at home and like does their homework for when you're doing gigs and stuff, mm -hmm. there's no need to s sit together anymore. I mean, this album, it was completely demoed and completely written between me and the drummer um, for, the whole, for the whole session over the internet, over Skype. Yeah.